five slang words and phrases explained. 5. Kinky Originally this word simply meant something with a bend or twist, probably coming from the Icelandic word meaning to bend your knees. In time the word was adopted by the criminal world to mean something that was illicit a for example a stolen car may have been referred to as a kinky car e but then in 1959, Colin McInnes changed the meaning of the word forever. In his book Absolute Beginners, he says. Suze, he meets lots of kinky characters, e and acts as agent for me, getting orders from them for my pornographic photos. From that time on the word was associated with the steamy side of sex. 7. Kick the bucket. This means to die. Many people consider the term to have come from a condemned man standing on an upturned bucket which was then kicked out from under his feet leaving him to hang, but there is no written evidence that this is the case. In fact, it is more likely from a different type of bucket entirely. In butchery, when a pig was slaughtered it would be hung from a piece of timber called a bucket beam. It is mostly likely that in his death throes. The pig's feet would bang against the rail to which they were tied. Therefore, kicking the bucket was a term referring to the last actions of the pig before he finally died. 3. Cool Who hasn't used this word at least once in their life when speaking highly of something? This meaning of the word is relatively new in English, but not as new as you might think. The earliest record found so far is from 1884 in the phrase that's cool exclamation mark e after that the next is 1902 from the lyrics of a song from the black and white minstrel show, The Way We Dress Is Coolery. 2. Moron Another Greek word, moron meant foolish or stupid. It was first propagated in English by an American psychologist Henry Goddard. In his report to the Journal of Psychoasthenics about his study of the feeble-minded, he argued for the adoption of the word which he defined as one who is lacking in intelligence, one who is deficient in judgment or sense. It was originally used to refer to an adult with a mental age of between 8 and 12. The term has not really made its way into high literature. 1. Idiot Idiot originally comes from the Greek word idiots which was used to refer to a person who was a private individual or more specifically, one who was so preoccupied with their own personal life that they would not take part in the democratic process. In the biblical sense, the word referred to an uneducated person. By the 14th century, it could also refer to a clown, a layman, or an individual. Later, however, the Oxford English Dictionary gave it the following definition which has stuck. A person so deficient in mental or intellectual faculty as to be incapable of ordinary acts of reasoning or rational conduct e when IQ tests arrived, a person scoring less than 20 was regarded to have earned the idiot's score e. 